Saturday, June 3rd, the Hopkinton Hillers, who finished the regular season 18-2, played their first postseason game of the year. The third-seeded Hillers hosted 14-seeded 14-7 Dartmouth. Bottom of the first, the Hillers' bats got going. As this is hit in the air over to center field to the fence, and that is off the fence. That is going to be a base hit for Holly, a stand-up double. She crushed that ball. That was nearly gone. The winner of this game will advance to take on the winner of Braintree and their opponent. They'll either play Somerset and Attleboro. That game's going on right now. This is up the middle, slow roller, throw to first. It is going to be not in time. Everybody's safe. Molly Bennett showing off the wheels, beats it out. Katie Holly pushes up to third. Hit in the air, over the head of the second baseman. That'll drop one run in, and a second run is in. Two nothing, Hillers, a two RBI single for Lindsey Whittles. No more runs would score until the top of the seventh when Dartmouth gave the Hillers a scare. One on, no outs. With the number nine hitter, the pitcher, would they try and bump with two strikes? Yes, they There's do. There's a bun, yeah. Up the left side, throw to first is high, gets away. Madero's up to third, and she's gonna try to score. They throw to second, and the run will score. Madero's coming all the way from around first. Scores the first Dartmouth run of the game, and Sousa is up to second base. Rachel Pereira at the plate, a run already in for the Dartmouth Indians, and a runner on base with no outs. Outside, the battle continues on, full count. Rachel Pereira having a good day at the plate. She's walked and has two base hits. And now she has one up the middle, glove by the shortstop. Throw to first, and they got her. Now the throw to third, and they'll get the other runner too. Two away. Sousa was trying to take it all the way to third, and they thought that was the game. That's only two outs. They thought the game was over. The wild play ends up being a 6-3-5 double play. And then a bit of confusion as the Hillers defense starts walking off the field, perhaps thinking they got the triple play, but they still actually had one more out to get. And there's strike three, the Hillers have done it. Heather Holly took care of business and struck out Haley Kemeyer for out number three as the Hillers advance and take the two to one victory Lindsey Whittles had both of the Hillers' RBIs with her first inning single. I caught up with pitcher Heather Hawley after the game. All right, I'm here with uh, Heather Hawley. Heather, a great game out there to start the playoffs off, and uh, a game that we saw a lot of weird stuff happen as well. And uh, you, you had another great performance in the pitcher's circle. Uh, can you talk about this game this afternoon? It was a wild one. Um, it was definitely very strange. I mean, we kept our composure really well. Um, we just had to get, we knew we had to get through this game to keep going. And all of us, we just like really have a lot of passion. And that showed on the field today. Now in the seventh inning, I'm sure it was a little bit uh, nerve wracking. What was going through your head uh, when they scored a run? They still had a runner on with no outs. Um, I was a little nervous, but I know that even if they did score another one, we as a team would battle through and hopefully pull it out. But I really have the utmost faith in the field, and everyone contributes. And I wasn't too, I was a little shaken, but I knew that we'd be able to pull through. Well, you did a great job as usual. And uh, this team, they seem to have a strong connection. Uh, you girls have been playing together uh, for quite a while now. What's it been like playing with this group? It's been a lot of fun. This is probably definitely my favorite team thus far. We all really love the game, and we're all happy to be there. Um, and everyone has a role, which is really nice. Like all, the, even the people who don't play that much, they all like cheer, cheer us on, and they're like happy to be there. All right. Well, another great game by you, and we're looking forward to hopefully many more playoff games to come. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thank you, Coach. A uh, nice win out there against Dartmouth, and what was a really wild game, I think. Uh, can you talk about this game this afternoon? We took the jumped the early, on the early lead. 
they didn't make a mistake the whole game. We felt we like we needed more, and then we hiccuped at the end, and then Molly made a great play by holding the runner on, throwing to first, and Lindsey, who had to take over from Maddie, who had a little bit of an injury. Lindsey hasn't played first all year long, came up and threw a P to third, and Emma was smart enough to keep the tag on. It was a little bit of a wild play, but we got a double play out of that, so it was tremendous. And I think uh, Lindsey Wills did pretty good at uh, first base. Uh, can you talk about her performance today? Uh, new position, but I think she uh, covered it pretty nicely. Lindsey's a tremendous de defensive player, big leader on our team, obviously had the big hit. Struggled a little bit first half of the year offensively, but she's always played great defense, plays great defense on left, and she's, she's improved tremendously defensively. And I had to make a switch, and I just thought, you know, left-handed first baseman with good skills. She made a couple really tough catches on balls from Molly, who throws, you know, throws really hard across the diamond. Thought she did a really nice job. She did a nice job on one of the bunts. And then the last thing, they, they lay down a great bunt, and then they got a, a tough one that I don't know if we could have gotten or not. And then, but we don't panic. And we play with a lot of grit. I mean, the girls don't get down. And, I, and, and that's something I love about this team. They don't, you've been to a bunch of games, they don't ever get down. Right. And, and you know, so it was two to one with nobody out. With, they have a great base runner, and she makes a great play, and here we are, we get to play again. Now the uh, top of the seventh, the wild double play, and then everyone runs off the field like the game is over. It actually confused me for, for a second. Um, but that, that was a, a pretty funny situation there, I think. Yes, uh, you don't really want your team to run off the field with two outs. And then I got to be honest, at the end, I thought it was a one and two count. And when she struck her out, and they started around like, no, no, no. But they're just excited. Uh, right. th that's these girls are a great group of girls to be around. They play hard. They're fun. Uh, they're respectful. They play the game the right way. You know, and every every girl, every girl has contributed. Girls are always cheering on the bench. It's just a great atmosphere. I, I love coaching these girls. All right, Coach. Well, uh, we hope that there is many more playoff games to come. Congratulations on a great win today against the tough Dartmouth team. Thank you very much, Tom. Appreciate it.